Uh, everyone, my name is Chris. Uh, um, I'm a long time Java programmer, so I'm just uh, starting working with Python because uh, there's a project that I'm interested to work on and I want to use uh, natural language processing and I heard uh, Python is very strong in uh, uh, such kind of things, so I decided to learn uh, Python. Okay, so uh, I think most, most of you already are quite advanced in Python, so um, I hope that uh, this can be useful if you want to learn a new language. Yeah. So usually when you want to learn a new lang language, that you have uh, this kind of question, uh, how do I start? Yeah, Whether I need to follow a tutorial in a book like a student registration or guestbook application, which probably uh, quite boring for you, or maybe do you need to create a, a simple application? Yeah. And then what kind of books or reference that, uh, that uh, can bring you of, uh, fast with the new language, yeah? And then with Python, there's another uh, another uh, another section which is which one to choose, Python th Python two or Python three. So I will uh, I will uh, tell you the story for all of these questions. Yeah. So uh, I think if you want to start a, a new language, like learn to new language, try to find a, a real life a useful application. Yeah. Uh, because uh, this is very important for you to stay motivated and to f uh, focus. Yeah. Uh, so my application is uh, basically uh, an app that aggregate uh, tender information from various uh, uh, website. Uh, there's around 600 websites, and uh, this uh, tender tender information is not uh, categorized according to. Uh, the scale of company, yeah, whether it's for a, a small company or a big company, and whether this tender is for uh, uh, information technology or construction, or where is the tender located, whether it's in Jakarta or, or Surabaya. So uh, my application is focusing on tender notifications for Indonesian company. Yeah, you know, uh, in Indonesia there are there are a lot of um, uh, there are many islands. Yeah. So uh, this is the the screenshot of the application. Uh, there are two parts of it. The first one is the web scraper itself that's running as a standalone application. I I run it in Python, and then the web application itself, where uh, you as a supplier or a vendor, right, you can come in, register, and then you can specify what kind of uh, handle no notification that you are uh, interested in. Like for example, if your company is a small uh, information technology company and uh, you don't have resources to, to uh, run project in, let's say, Surabaya, which is 1,000 kilometers from Jakarta, so you, you could uh, specify the, the category. Uh, I, I, uh, I still use Indonesian language for, for this application. Yeah. So you can specify the, the category, the scale of your company, and the type of tender, whether it's for goods or services, yeah, and then the location of the tender. And then you can also specify a specific keyword, like for example, if, if your company is, uh, is uh, specializing in a web sphere, right, you can write the keyword there. So once you register your filter, your filter right, then uh, you will get automatic notification for the tender that you are interested in. So this is basically the, the application that I wanted to write at that time. Yeah, so uh, the, the second thing that I did was that I do I did a brainstorm, brainstorming for uh, what, what, what I need for uh, my application. Yeah, so I, I did this so I, I could focus uh, on a specific uh, feature of the language. Yeah. So the first one is the uh, scraping library, uh, database read and write, and then multi-threading capabilities, and it has to be a standalone application. Yeah. So my my focus is basically a, a basic language construct on how to write a standalone applica application, how to use library, how to install library, and how to use multi-threading in Python. So uh, then Python 2 or Python 3. 
So uh, uh, my bet that time was the, the latest is is better. Even though I know that uh, some of the good libra libraries are still not ported to Python 3. Yeah. Uh, and then the next thing is that uh, try to use tools that you are familiar with. Uh, because I, ca I came from Java background, I used to work with Eclipse. So for IDE, I use Eclipse with uh, PYDEV plugin. And then uh, for the OS, I use Windows, even though I deployed my application later to Linux Ubuntu. Yeah. And then this is the reference that I use. This is uh, pretty straightforward and thin, uh, which is around 160 pages. And you could skim easily, uh, just, just mm -hmm. read it like a, like a reference. So what I did was I, I didn't read from front to back and then later start coding. So I just start coding with, with my uh, brainstorm. And then whenever I need uh, to understand, like for example, data type, yeah, and then I open the book. So I, I, I focus more on uh, writing the, the, the code itself. So my, my first program, right, uh, I, I uh, try to, to, to use a hello world or to write a hello world to understand uh, how to, to name the file, the source code file, because in Java, it's, uh, the class name must be the same with the file name, but in, in Python, it's different. You can use any, any file, file name actually. And then how, uh, uh, how you write a main entry to the application, the, the, the main method yeah, within Java. And then how, how to run it, how to compile and to run your uh, first program. And then once I understood this, I continue with how to write function, yeah, and then data types, array, and then list, and then basic syntax like uh, if else, yeah, for indentation, string, uh, self, which I didn't find in Java, uh, ask and keyword arguments, which I also uh, that time didn't find in Java, but uh, when I read the reference that I found it is quite often, yeah. And then the next is how to install module. Basically, basically I use pip, yeah. And then how to import module and use it in your application. Okay, the next thing is uh, try uh, when you learn a new language. That there's always temptation for you to understand uh, to understand as many as possible. Yeah, but uh, uh, for my case, I I don't think it's uh, productive to 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 do it that way. So my focus was just to make my application works as soon as possible. Yeah, even though it's I mean it's not it's not beautiful, it's not elegant. Yeah, it's using a long method. I use uh, I I write uh, error to to the console. I didn't use logger that time. Yeah. Uh, so once I once I uh, managed to run my application, right? Uh, then I refactor. I use class, yeah. I use inheritance, and then, and then uh, uh, Python coding convention, and organize into, into module. Yeah. And another thing is that uh, uh, focus, yeah. so uh, try not, not to read too much. Yeah. I mean, you, you just deep dive whenever you, 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 you need to. Yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's something in the language that you need to understand to finish your, your work, your application. Yeah. So uh, this is the summary uh, of uh, uh, the steps that I, I did to uh, to be productive, to learn Python and productive in one week. Uh, so this is the, the apps that I that I wrote. So this is the trading library that I use. I use a uh, Threadful Executor from uh, Concurrent Futures. And uh, this is the, the main class to, to, part, to parse uh, every page yeah. in, in, the main, in the main class. Uh, and in this class, I inherit from uh, a base parser. 
base structure basically is just uh, a wrapper from a uh, uh, lower level library which I uh, use a beautiful soup for that. Yeah. So in, in this in this uh, base base structure, right? Uh, instead of you 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 uh, work on a lower level class like like calling uh, calling a CSS class, I create a wrapper method like for example. If I want to get con uh, all uh, uh, table content from a, from a from a row, yeah? from a table row, then I, I just call this uh, wrapper method. Something like that. So that, that's all that I have. Uh, any questions so far? Yeah. Uh, so you started with this great hook about uh, using NLP and Python. Mm. Uh, did you get to any of that in this? Is, is there any cool language comprehension stuff? Uh, uh, not yet, because I'm I'm currently to to categorize it. I'm I'm still using a keywords. Yeah. So uh, I'm still on the process on doing that. Still learning. Yep. Uh, how long ago was it when you started with this process? This one I I started around uh, October, last yeah, year. October last year. But uh, uh, I, I I mean I didn't really uh, in, in in intensive in doing this because I also uh, doing a contracting work in, in HP. Yeah. No other yeah. questions. Let's give a big hand to Chris.